Hey everyone, here with Josh Thompson and the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Salemi. Okay, we're gonna go through a couple exercises that I use for MMA. Okay, right now it's the three-pointed um, bridge that I use, so we're gonna go to the far right, to the far left, and then back over to the middle, and then we're gonna use the combat position, which my good friend Raul Castillo calls it. Okay, we're gonna sit right up into basically a single leg position, attacking from the from the bottom guard. Okay, so here we go. Watch this position here as Mike will walk us through it. So now. You're gonna start sitting on your butt. So sitting on your butt, we're gonna use a special grip. Josh, can you talk about the grip, why I'm grabbing it? So the reason why I do this, the reason why I do this grip is when you're on the bottom trying to escape, okay? If I use my hands and my grips like this on the hips, I can actually be uh, wrist locked. So what I do is I put my thumbs on the inside, so no matter how much they put pressure, my wrist will actually fold out, and there's no way of me getting wrist locked. So this is why he's holding the grip in this position here. So now, with this grip, my thumbs are in, then I wrap over with the fingers. From here, I sit back. Now, with the kettlebell towards the base of the abdomen or closer towards the pelvis, I'm gonna sit my back on the ground. Now, Josh, can you walk me through how I'm gonna bridge up? So the reason why he's in this position here is he's pretending as if like an MMA or in any type of jiu-jitsu or wrestling position, okay? This bridge position is used in these sports. So what he's gonna do is he pretend as if somebody is on top of him. He's pushing on their hips. So I have the L-shaped position right at the pelvis bone, okay, on both sides. So he can't get wrist locked. He has, this is what we call an L position, okay? So I have L position on the hips. Now, Mike's gonna start to bridge. When he starts to bridge, he's gonna elevate and extend fully out there. There you go. He's gonna bring it all the way back in. Then he's gonna right to the other side. Boom, then he's gonna bring it back in and then back over to the top of the head, right up into his combat position. He tucks the heel up underneath his butt as close as he can, elevates, coming forward, extends the kettlebell out and pulls the kettlebell back into his hips as if you're grabbing someone's leg. So we're gonna go work through it one more time at a little bit faster pace. Beautiful how he sucked his heel up underneath his body right away, sat up perfectly, the kettlebell now right there, resting on his hip as if he's reaching and grabbing someone's leg and pulling them in to start to get the takedown and get back up to his feet. That was a great job by Mike. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Make sure you do both legs. So when you come up to the combat position, make sure you alternate.